In downtown Greenville at the headquarters of Upstate Forever, visiting Brad Weich, the executive director. Brad, what are the goals and mission of your organization? Well, first of all, Amanda, thank you all so much for being here. It's great to have you. We have three basic programs, protecting important lands and natural resources, working on clean water, clean air issues, and working on land use and growth issues. What are some of the successes you've had in making places more accessible to ordinary people? We have a wonderful success story in Oconee County with Stump House Mountain. In Pickens County, uh, we have a beautiful piece of property called Nine Times that's open for public use. And, and then in Greenville County, we have Lake Conesty Nature Park. Uh, this has been a great success. And also in Greenville, the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which is a spectacular success that connects downtown Greenville to Furman University to Traveler's Rest. It is now used by over 400,000 people every year. It's been a spectacular uh, public use and public enjoyment success story. The water is such an incredible part of life up here. Have you found any ways to make water more accessible? One project that we've been working on is over in Pickens County, the 12 Mile River Restoration. Uh, the river suffered through a lot of bad contamination from PCBs, but there's been a cleanup going on the last several years that has included removing the two old dams in the 12 Mile Gorge. And so they, they have now been removed and after 100 years of being buried, under uh, basically two ponds, the river is free flowing again, and plans are underway to create a public blue way where folks can get on the river and enjoy it. Um, and we've been real involved in that. Even where we're standing, I think, is an example of y'all's commitment to showing people how to be sustainable. Yes, we, we really want to practice what we preach. So when we were looking for a new office, rather than building a new building, we found an existing building that hadn't been uh, lived in in over 20 years. We bought it and we've restored it. And we're very proud of what we've done here. It's a model green renovation project. We were actually able to achieve LEED Platinum. There are only five LEED Platinum projects in the whole state. So that's the highest level of green certification that you can get. So we pretty much have everything that you would want to see that's of a green nature uh, here in the office. We've got these wonderful sun tunnels or solar tubes that are capturing sunlight off the roof, bringing it into the building, so that's just pure sunlight. We've got very energy efficient windows. We've got recycled carpet. Uh, we have reclaimed heart pine from a couple of closed textile mills, so it sort of represents the heritage of the upstate. And on the outside of the building, on the roof, I think you've got a special feature. We do, we've got um, solar power. We have s seven solar panels. They provide about 25% of our power needs here. We have solar hot water. We have a wonderful sustainably harvested roof. Uh, we have rain barrels, two large rain barrels in the back. Part of our roof is a green roof, which actually consists of these module, modules of small plants that help us reduce the um, heating effect um, and keep the building cool and also absorb some of that rainfall. So it's, it's soaking in uh, and sustaining these small plants rather than running off. We've got permeable pavement here that's also helping absorb the runoff and the great work that Rick Huffman and Earth Design did with our native plant landscaping. It's not only beautiful but um, it also helps retain the water on site. We're really doing trying to get folks to think about water in a different way. It's, it's a life-giving resource so we ought to be keeping it on the property using it to nourish plants um, and, and conserving it rather than putting it a pipe putting it in a pipe and sending it off-site. We have enjoyed visiting with you today and I think other people would like to learn more about your work. How can they do that? Well, please check out our website, which is upstateforever.org. And if any of your viewers are in the Greenville area, please come by and see us. We have an open door policy here at our office. We'd love to have the folks come in and, and have a tour of our office. Thank you so much. Thank you.